Hi everyone, this short video is going to address some questions regarding the tarot so you have more clarity and um, to what it is that I do here. So, do you know that feeling you have when you think of someone and they call you or when you're standing somewhere and your mind is kind of blank and a meditative state and next thing you know you look and someone's looking at you well that is what tapping into energy is we all have this ability we all have it in, in us your intuition is greater than any tool exists that exist on earth because your intuition is an inner map to your path to your unique situation so are there things that the that we cannot see of course there is there's a, a lot of questions that we can ask and the tarot will come up with um ambiguous and whenever I have an ambiguous answer or a no answer that simply means that we were not meant to know because what would be the point of knowing if if it could defeat the lesson however with that said I do want to share with you that the spirit world, your angels, your ancestors, those who have crossed over, the divine is not trying to hide any messages from you. It's actually always trying to reach you, always trying to communicate. There's no mystery. It's always trying to guide you into your path. And unless there's something that you your spirit signed up for and you're not supposed to know at that particular time but in terms of communicating that that energy is always communicating with you another question that i get often is can you read to see what someone is thinking if someone's thinking of you Yes, of course, uh, people can tap in. You can feel if you really enter a meditative step. You can feel when people are thinking of you. You you think of them. You know what what um, we're all connected. So what you put out there comes back to you. Just be cautious with those types of readings, and don't take them with a grain, I mean, take them with a grain of salt because energy is fluctuating. It's not stagnating. So yes, today someone may be thinking about you. Tomorrow they might dislike you. You know, people have the right to change their mind. So don't hold on to a tarot reading so tight that someone's thinking of you about you maybe in that moment they were just the same way that you think of others and especially when it comes to past lovers be very cautious because yes they might be missing you it doesn't mean they're good for your energy so only you would know those answers only you can tap into those answers and another question that i get is how do you read collectively for energies that have crossed over? In my particular case, from having done this for so many years, and I noticed that when we, when when energies cross over, they come in collectively. For example, um, if you had a parent that crossed over, a mother that crossed over, f for, to give you one example, and she had a particular energy well you weren't the only one with that with that type of energy so they come in collectively perhaps this was a mother that was very caring and and somewhat so another thing um, so you know what you're getting into in this page is I work with the light I always meditate and call in energies of the light so there are certain things I don't like to read I'm not open to read and uh, you know I just don't read uh, certain topics so um, just just so you know 
and uh, I, 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 my, my intent is always that the messages are for a higher um, good, for a spiritual good in the world, and uh, for whoever taps into it. If, if not, then it defeats the point for me as a reader, but you're free to, to, do, to do as you wish. Um, you know, with, with the tarot. The other question I get um, a lot, especially now that we're learning more about energy and science, and is, is the tarot used in psychology? Yes, it is. Um, the tarot can be used in Jungian psychologists, um, yet the ones who come from a young, young um, theory base, because young um, used to write about, in my belief system, or at least what I've gathered from reading, is that he um, was a mystic, <laughs> and um, he really endorsed the idea of the archetypes that were used for centuries in the tarot. And what this is, is um, the tarot has cards called the Major Arcana, and these are archetypes or energies that during our lifetime we will all experience and it starts with the fool so some therapists adapt these archetypes into um, into therapy to help a client um, go through certain stages of life that we all experience falling in love um, grief sometimes confusion sometimes dealing with with um, transformation solitude you know we have these energies and it always starts with the fool and the fool um, is the beginning of the archetype this is an energy of new beginnings he starts uh, his journey into the unknown there's a call to have faith there's a call to to tap into um, this uh, joy and this childlike joy as you bark into the unknown, which all of us go through in new beginnings. And a Jungian uh, psychologist will uh, use this archetype to um, explore what we call existential questions. For example, what is your purpose in life? How do you uh, or humanistic questions as well. How do you see yourself as part of the whole um, with this idea of uh, you, we all feel complete when we are, when we work on the body, the mind, and also the spirit. So I hope this was helpful to you in understanding and Please post uh, below any questions you may have about the tarot, not a personal reading. I don't do personal readings on this page. And um, I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much for being here and for sharing my passion for this. And I wish to see you next time. See you soon. Bye.